guys welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video we'll talk about our med school experience briefly uh, as well as throw in a couple of tips which we feel are useful for surviving the experience <sighs> yeah we hope you enjoy, <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoy. Yeah. so so i'll go right into it so the first question is where did you attend the university how was the process of getting into it and was it your first choice Hey. First, it was not my first choice. <laughs> Where did you want to go? Me, I thought oh. I was an Ivy League material. <laughs> yes. For real? Of <laughs> okay, But life comes at you first, eh? Yeah. So, yeah, it wasn't my first choice. But the experience of applying, see, after Form 4, you feel those jab forms. Mm. Is it jab or something? Yeah, jab. Yeah, to see like what cause you're entrepreneur. So, just like let me pick medicine yeah. and one other one that I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so then after that, you get like a letter. After, was it after the results come out? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Did you get called to do medicine, actually? Me? No. Yeah. I no. got called to do medicine. No. no. I was called to do biosystems engineering. Wow! wow. <laughs> Yeah. What is that though? It's, imagine, like, I, I actually feel like I could have done it. It's it's like, this is what my mom told me, I don't know. <laughs> it's like engineering but with a conservation perspective. Oh. So like if I'm going to build a, a bridge here, mm -hmm. how is it affecting the environment around? Oh, that sounds yeah. so interesting. Yeah. I don't know if that's it, but that's, that's, <laughs> what, I feel. that's what I understood about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's go to do pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Pharmacology. <laughs> hey. yeah. Yeah. So these are the choices that we picked um before we did KSC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was to do that thing. It was like like I was supposed to fix that. <laughs> it was meant to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. What about you? That was yeah. me. It was my first choice. <laughs> Oh yeah, she, she made it. it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I wanted to go to Yale, but eh, like when you, you look at the process, no, but when you look at the process of doing medicine like in a country like the states, yeah. not to do pre medicine, yeah. not to yeah. sort of get accepted to a medical school, then yeah. I just thought it was just a longer long process. process. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so I just let it go. Good old <laughs> University of Nairobi. But she Which got your money as well. That's another thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> Oh yeah, so there are two programs, there's a regular program and a parallel right. program. Mm -hmm. So for the regular program, it's usually, now those are the ones where you give you an alert and you're called to the school, yeah. because you've attended the grades, like the cutoff grades yeah. for regular. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's parallel program, which has a different cutoff, but you pay more. Yeah. <laughs> a lot more. And you have yeah. to apply. So, and you have to fresh. apply, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, we apply. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. I think that was my first experience at a government office. office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, guys, there are so many things. I'm not telling my dad, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. It was such a process. Yeah. I remember I was late. I, I missed the deadline. Wow. Oh. So I had to go and plead. Mm -hmm. Like I pleaded with the, I don't remember who it was at the time, at the dean's office. Yeah. I begged them, like, listen, I'm not going to do any other course. <laughs> yeah. 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 So imagine he allowed. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean. hey. I was so short. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify though, we all did medicine at the University of Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a six year program, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. But you'll see why it took longer. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, second question is talk about your experience in first year and surviving first year. Because I know that many of us who just started medical school, yeah. it's very different from high school. Mm -hmm. So, first year was very. I'd say it was exciting because I mean you were done with high school. Mm -hmm. Now you get to live alone. Uh, for those of us who are still uh, here on campus, there were it was like a year of very many firsts. Um, what I can say is we really enjoyed life. Uh, <laughs> you guys did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We lived our best life in first year. Um, but there was also a lot of um, confusion, especially. With the, like the school aspect because you're introduced to very many new concepts mm -hmm. and then yeah at the same time and then the workload was intense mm -hmm. it was nothing that you've ever done before yeah. and that was it was intense mm -hmm. and then a lot is expected of you mm -hmm. um you're expected like to read um large volumes of material mm -hmm. you know in high school like 
when you used to be told that ah, when you get to uni, let me tell you, achieving that ninety percent will not be easy. But you know, you used to tell yourself, ah, no, I'll be able to do it. I'll be the one who's getting that ninety. I'll yeah. show you. Until you, know. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to med school and you're yeah. humble. You just want to pass. I just want to you get just that want fifty. Pass. Even fifty percent. Where well, you're okay. You're so you're okay. Happy. It's true. Yeah. So. And then for me, I felt like in first year. All the things were being introduced to. I felt like, what, what were we learning in biology? Because it's like I can't did nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 it's like completely why? unrelated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's like high school was just. It felt like a waste, to be honest. It's like you're now studying. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And everything is new. Yeah, yeah. everything Brand is new. new. Yeah, but then it was kind of a struggle to find a balance. That's true. Yeah, because you're like, okay, fine. Yeah, you want to read, but you also want to have a life. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you get to eventually. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But it's also important not to give up. You mm. will fail so many cards mm. and exams. Yeah. Mm. But I feel like that's that's what med school is for. Yeah. yeah. And so then, don't give up. And they put your registration number and your marks <laughs> <laughs> on the notice it's board funny. and your full name. All your All your full names. names. <laughs> All your notice board. Ooh. So the, the pressure was so real. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you experience like getting literal calendar marks. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. Yeah. Do you remember going to check farm commas? Yeah. I like, used to post them. Because <laughs> <laughs> of course you, you just even know. Let me just not start from the top. Because <laughs> that's just like the meat. Even meat in apple. Hey, like, why like yourself? <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay. Yeah. For me, I think first year, me, I didn't have a balance. So I really didn't have a simple life in first year. Mm-hmm. Like, like compared to the other years. And you could, you know, I used to go to the library on Sunday. Ah, imagine, like that's, that's the kind of student <laughs> I was in, in first, first year. year. Aki. Right. To go at Yambui. With who? With myself. <laughs> you enter a whole matter to a library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I started yeah. at home. Like, I didn't yeah. have a balance in first year. I'm not sure I know that. Wow. Yeah. So I was just like, oh my gosh, my school, my school. It's just going to be school, books, yeah. me. Mm. But I saw, now I learned over the years, like, hey, you need a balance yeah. or you will burn out yeah. and you get to enjoy the yeah. university experience. So, um, what was your, now let's go to final year. I was contrasting mm-hmm. first year and final year. Mm-hmm. How was your final year experience and how did you survive final year? So that was also another yes. experience. Okay. I think by final year we had, we had settled mm-hmm. really yeah. into ourselves and into the medical system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Personally, how I survived was study groups. There's no other way you can do it in med school. You can't read everything by yourself. Impossible. Yeah. Study groups is it. And doing past papers and questions and just hearing from people ahead of you yeah. how they've done it. Mm. Yeah. How did you guys find it? Um, I feel like for me, the, the main difference was I had now finally found my method of reading. Mm. Because in first year, I used to feel like, no, if I haven't read it myself, mm. I haven't read it. That's mm. true. Right? Yeah. So I used to feel I want to read everything. Mm. And it really used to overwhelm me because honestly, there's no way you can read everything. Yeah. So, but by final year now, I had also figured out that honestly, the, the way to get through it is to be in a good study group and to have a good support system. And like this said, um, by that time you've already settled, uh, uh, you figured out life a bit, you know how things work, what works for you, what doesn't. So, and you know how to manage your stress as well, and how to at least come up with a balance. Yeah, yeah and what to compromise on and what not to compromise on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, yeah, the common answer will be study groups for sure. Because first of all, you're tired, like you don't have time to go home mm. and uh, sit down and decide, okay, fine, I'm going to read this topic. Mm. But in a study group, everyone contributes something, so you yeah. learn more in a shorter span of time. Yeah. Another practical tip is YouTube videos, oh, yeah, yes. as well as Dr. Najib. I think we all knew yeah. Dr. Najib. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll try and link his, his page somewhere. Mm. And I don't think you have to pay 
no, 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 no. Some are available for free, yeah. and some you have to pay for, but for the most part, I definitely agree. We owe you <laughs> our <laughs> daddy. <laughs> and those sources, yeah, yeah, those sources are on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. 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 so easily. Yeah. You know, photographic, yeah. you'll just you'll never forget. Mm. So, YouTube and Dr. Nadine. Mm. Me, I like to begin my date. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. especially for Oscars because yeah. they're so concise and mm. like after that you have a video demonstration yeah. of everything yeah. with the yeah. points like that's yeah. that's what they use for us too. and they teach you to pass the exam yeah because mm-hmm. that's i mean not pass the exam yeah. so yeah. i want to move on yeah yeah so um which was your most enjoyable year and which was your toughest year most to say mm-hmm. i didn't even that <laughs> <laughs> so, like, i mean the toughest year was fourth year to be honest i just mm-hmm. don't know what was happening in fourth year I felt like it was like a proper introduction to like clinical oh, years, yeah. but it just came with so much. Mm-hmm. So at some point, I felt like at some point I was developing anxiety. Mm-hmm. Like I think in fourth year is when I understood mental health yeah. is a serious thing. Because I was like, hey, what is this I'm feeling? Yeah. You know, yeah. So I think fourth year was just really tough. And I can't explain like what exactly it was. Mm-hmm. I just felt like there was just so much going on. Mm-hmm. And I just didn't know how to to go about it. Mm. Then, funny enough, <laughs> the most enjoyable year was fifth year. <laughs> so for us in fifth year, um, there was there was a strike, and uh, how do I explain it? There's this need called community health, where it's not so much, so like you don't do so much, and you have five months of what felt like free time. I wouldn't say it's free time, but it felt mm-hmm. like free time. Yeah. So it's like you used to come to school to just talk, and yeah. just do nothing. Mm-hmm. And it was fun. And then we were told at the, at the end of the rotation, there's no exam. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So we we're just like, so what you've said is for five months, Yanni, we're just going to be really bummy. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice. It was so nice. Yeah, so we started with Ob. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then went to com health and then peace. So it was the end where peace was. Yeah. Hey, like, yeah, we felt the pressure there. But the, the previous rotation was kind of like a little life. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, for me as well, for here I was quite hectic. And I think the reason it was so hectic was because, you see, the group ahead of us was the first group to do the fifth year course. Mm. So, you remember their fourth year exam was so tough. Yes. Yes. They were the first group yeah. to ever do that fourth year exam. Mm. So, of course, that pressure was transferred onto us. All yeah. the fears were also transferred yeah. onto us. And then I think also in terms of the pass rate for one unit, it, yeah. was, hey, yeah. it was so, it's, yeah, it was not good. So that stress, internally for this was IMED. That stress for IMED was just, you could yeah. feel it. It yeah. was just palpable in the air, especially towards the end of the year when we're about to do exams. Pressure. There was so much pressure. So that was a very tough year. Um, it was also, it was a new year. It was a year of firsts, like mm-hmm. you said. It was our, now our first serious clinical year. Mm. Yeah. And then um, for me, the most enjoyable year, I think, was it was first year a bit, like the <laughs> social aspect, and then now fifth year as well, because the stress was not as much. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. My hardest year was third year, because mm. mm. I felt like there was so much new info being introduced because that's when we started doing pharmacology yeah, microbiology yeah. like it was just a lot then mm-hmm. we started going to the wards there's so much pressure to to clock <laughs> <laughs> to come remember, up with a history <laughs> do you remember telling the lecturers like in Tadia yeah, actually uh, uh, ask when you reach over here <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah so like, the examination <laughs> second year oh, really? yeah it was such a blur because <laughs> 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 i okay. don't even remember half the things we did in second year because oh, they were not they were not as serious so to speak yeah okay. like we yeah. really want behavioral science yeah. and, and such things so for me it was it was quite a breeze mm. uh, even in second year they were she came you mostly on attendance yeah, yeah. Oh, not the yeah. theoretical yeah. knowledge yeah. Mm. And it is, for me, second year was really good. Mm-hmm. That's when I learned how to have 
balance. Yeah. Yeah. Social life and I need more friends and all yeah. that. Candy yeah. crush. Oh, yeah, I think candy crush. 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 Yeah, I think candy my best year, my favorite mm -hmm. year. Again, first of all, it was very organized. Mm -hmm. We were doing only three meets for that year, yeah. and you do it for a certain period of time before you move to the next mm -hmm. meet. And the departments were just so organized, mm -hmm. especially the obstetrics departments. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was hey, good they did it hey. so well, and it was actually Please enjoyable. Take a leaf from there. Yeah. 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 It was actually very, very enjoyable. Like, yeah. Yeah. When you think about it, doing the theory first and sense. then going to the ward makes so much sense. Yeah. 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 Because now in Ayman, you're in, in the ward and then they're asking you, so this one, we haven't yet gotten in the yeah. film. <laughs> <laughs> I have to just my yeah. <laughs> Then they look at you like so unfocused. Yeah. They're just like, now, oh, no, don't you read doing? ahead? Yeah. <laughs> read ahead. Have I even caught up with what you've done? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah this right. year was very organized and then again, the units weren't as heavy as in mm. Sophia. Yeah. 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 Another thing about Sophia, yeah, remember those are strike, like the serious Yeah, strike. gone for three months. Yeah. So like the serious part of school was nine weeks if you think mm -hmm. about it. So I think that's another reason why it was so stressful. Because yeah. we started for care in twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. I think June or some somewhere there. Mm -hmm. Was it June or something? Yes. Then we finished. Then there was a strike. Then, then, then yeah, yeah, we finished yeah. like we came back so to do exams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And finish like a previous rotation which people hadn't finished. Yeah. yeah. Then at that point, you couldn't even go to the wards because there were no patients. Yeah. So, like, so mm -hmm. you couldn't learn from the wards. And that's yeah. you know. me, 2016, I don't know what happened in that yeah. year. Like, honestly, it's just a like, we're out of school for most <laughs> like of the year. Like 10 months, out of school, I think, for, for a long 10 months, time. Like, cumulatively. Yeah. But for me, to be honest, if I'm being honest, <laughs> I really enjoyed that time at home. Like, during the, the strike, imagine I really enjoyed it. You didn't get bored. No, I felt like I needed this break. Oh, okay. Okay. The constant pressure and then you barely have a holiday. Yeah. So anytime there was a strike, as much as you're like it's prolonging my time in school, on the other hand I get to rest yeah. and do other things. Mm -hmm. Do you remember in sixth year, like there's a time people are so stressed and just like at even a two week strike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Give us just two weeks. Oh yeah, when the lecturers would strike. Yeah. 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 Just, like, I could just give us two weeks. We just need, you know, just to have, have that fresh week. breath of yeah. air kidogo and then we'll come back. Mm -hmm. Right. But in sixth year, we had so many exams. You don't even know when mm -hmm. this one is. It, sh it reached a point. People are just like, let it come the way it will come. Yeah. Because you're like, I can't read everything. It's true. We're just like, it's time yeah. for school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's time for school. But you know, at the end of the day, you'll still do it. Yeah. And those extra two days or three days, honestly, you won't even finish reading what you're doing. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So let it just come. That's true. Mm. <laughs> then again, in Fortia, yeah, again, as you said, the, it was clinical exams. We're counting so much for whether you pass for here, mm. and from the previous book, they didn't have such a good experience. Mm. So, me, I remember, I just remember the Saturday MCT was just terrible just in so Fortia. Oh it was like gosh. six years. Like, it was that so was bad. a big joke, though. Yeah, yeah. that was not so an undergraduate. Yeah. Do you know the question I always remember <laughs> is when they were asking us, Ati, how do you scrub? Me, I'm there sitting trying to think, how does Meredith Gray scrub? <laughs> <laughs> I could I sat on that chair and I was just like, Aki, how many times does she scrub his hands? What does she do first? So I was like, when am I going to theater? Like honestly, mm -hmm. hey. especially the author part. It was uh, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. uh, what were they doing? Mm -hmm. And they were so happy. I'm sure as a department, they were so happy. Hi, <laughs> right, anyway. So let maybe you can now talk about your worst exam experience ever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or your top three, you <laughs> <laughs> Hey, for me, it was first year BCAM. <laughs> Guy, there's a cut we failed. I think the highest must have gotten like 40 something percent. Mm. Ay, yeah, 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 that, I don't understand. Like, it was a bad exam. <laughs> Do you remember mm. what you got in that exam? I don't remember. I hey, don't remember. But the consoling was thing was everybody had failed. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah that was consoling. Mm. But you remember in BKM, okay, I don't know if they were just remembering us. They used to give us close tests. Yes! Oh, yeah. oh my goodness! Yeah. Like for the end, and the dash can be like there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. 
and I'm just like, where? Okay. But it was from notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notes. Notes. yeah. Notes. yeah. yeah. those notes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. those notes. That's it. Yeah. yeah. For me, I think so the, the last um, exam experience is not really the exam itself, but at the end of the year, at the end of this year, um, I had missing marks in pediatrics. Oh, no. And this was now, I think we're starting exams like now the next week. So of course, if you go into the exam without having your full card marks, mm. I mean that's already a disadvantage. Mm. So hey, I was so stressed. I remember calling everyone, going to their office, talking to all mm. the professors, um, to just try and get those marks because I didn't want to go to the exam room not having my entire marks. Mm. The catch marks were a lot. Yeah, yeah, they come and find us. You can't just bank yeah, on finals. Bank on finals because you don't know how finals will go. Mm. Hey, that was a very stressful time, but I was able to got them. The text I really came through for me. That's so nice. Yeah, that oh Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah. So for me, that was a very stressful time. Mm. I think mine was. It was actually in sixth year. It was like an end of rotation for IMED. <laughs> hey, like I remember the lecturer just wanted me to say one thing. Yeah. And I didn't say that one thing. Mm. And I remembered it as I was walking out. Uh, I was just like, I couldn't go back. <laughs> I was like, and then. She had like this lecture had a reputation, you know. Yeah. So you just like just like where? Right. And then someone actually someone else had also been examined by her on the same day and they were just like how oh she's so nice yeah. or like they're so nice, they're in good spirits. I was just like where? Oh yeah. Just like where? Okay. So we move on anyway. Mm. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think for me it was final year. Internal medicine or ski. Yeah, first, first of all, <laughs> the previous night I had not slept, like I didn't sleep the whole night because oh. I was so anxious. Yeah. I could not sleep. So I'm waking up in the morning, I'm like, I hope I don't get brain fog at some point. Like because mm. if you're too tired, yeah, things can just disappear. Okay, yeah. that's what that's where the problem started. So the problem, <laughs> the world we were in, me, I don't know what they decided. They just put all the you know those lecturers, mm. all of them that like, imagine they put them mm. all together yeah. in that one mode. So I remember that people went in the first stream before us. They come out, they were just like, it's bad in there. Yeah. 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 Even I go in there, the first station is just like the two people who I have never wanted to meet. Yeah. 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 The two of them together. Yeah. I don't want to mention them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two of them two together. I like, yeah. hey. okay. Then I remember my abdomen station. I don't know what happened. I didn't finish. First of all, I didn't finish. Yeah, me too. Like, <laughs> no, we all did. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't finish at all. Like, I was actually chased out of my abdomen. And then <laughs> the bell rang. Then I'm trying to continue. Like, yeah. to mention at least something. Then it's like, I don't really do any marks. I do the marks. He uh, gave me 8 out of 25. Uh, so uh, they already knew that station is not yeah, being counted. Yeah, so I'm just yeah. feel like, what? Wow, I can't. I only have known these other stations. Yeah. Yeah. Or else mm -hmm. that is. Hey, I was so stressed. Yeah, yeah. I was so stressed about it. Because you already know I failed this yeah. station. Mm -hmm. I properly failed it. Oh There's no going gosh. back. Hey. <gasps> but yeah, I did fail. <laughs> then okay. I think we can now end the video just briefly. Like what you can tell someone who wants to get into medical school. You know, something you wish you knew before. Mm -hmm. Not getting into medical school yourself. <sighs> Don't do it. <laughs> There's more oh, to life than medicine. <laughs> Even yeah. as a student, there's so much more you can do as a, when you're in med school. Yeah. You don't have to just be doing books, books, yes. books. There's so much more. If you have a hobby, yeah. explore it. That's one thing I wish I pursued because I kept feeling, you see the girls I was talking about earlier, I feel like it really overwhelmed me and prevented me from doing other aspects of my life. Mm. So I feel like that's one thing I actually regret. I wish I did more when I was in uni. So yeah. In school. I just add to that now for me that's something I realized I think like in the later years, fifth year and sixth year. Because also in university in medical school there are other clubs and associations which mm -hmm. do other things like yeah. fun. Yeah. Like for me it was a good sake. Yeah. 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 So like just try and involve yourself in other things outside of the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing network. Yes. Your network is your network. Yes. Right. And it'll help you so much, That's even true. after med school. Mm. Yeah, so network, network. Yeah. Another thing, sorry, I'm <laughs> is what you enter med school thinking you'll pursue might not be the same thing you leave med school. Like if you wanted to do neurosurgery, well, first of all, first of all, let's just start there. Most likely, you, you want to do it at the end of med school. That's true. Yeah, so there's room to change your 
your likings or whatever it is you want to pursue. Yeah, Don't be so open mind. Yeah. 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 Like we said, we can't overemphasize on the importance of study groups mm. because a good study group honestly is what will carry you towards to the end. Not mm. only for groups, but also a support system. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also those friends that you make during study group, I mean, those are the friends who will carry you through also after you're done with now in university. Mm. Mm. And yeah, another thing is, <coughs> sorry, another thing is, um, in med school, okay, sometimes they tend to repeat exams, not word for word, but like questions. So going through past papers will help you a lot. A lot. And yeah. it's sad to say that for us, there was something called cartels. Like they put our past papers and they don't share. Or you see them outside the exam room on the day of the exam. Yeah. That's when you see this particular, like... Why didn't you share? Yeah. Like, but there are some people also like really generous. Mm -hmm. If first take photos, just mm -hmm. send it in the yeah. classroom. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah, so again, you're not going to be a doctor alone. alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why you'd want to hold past it. Yeah, I know. Are you like you to get a hundred percent in like, yeah. Yeah. this? What do you think about this? Adults. <laughs> and CMEs. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> we to date. Oh, oh, we don't share CMEs. <laughs> well, at least these days it's not like in hotels and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. This is online. Yeah. <laughs> but we used to attend them for dinner. Like you go because of the the, the food. food. Yeah. yeah. And then as a student, you don't pay. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Something else I'd say is that if you join med school and you feel like at some point it's overwhelming you, or you feel like this is not where you belong. Imagine it will quickly change your path. Mm. Don't feel like you must finish and you're not disappointing anyone. Like you have to go through it. Yeah, yeah you don't have to. Mm. Imagine it's okay. There are many people who have joined med school and gone on a different tangent altogether. Mm. It's completely fine. Yeah, and they're thriving. Mm. Okay, I'm an example. Is there there are many who went until fifth year first first semester mm. and they stopped to say that I just can't. Do this anymore? You went and started engineering. Mm -hmm. oh, wow! Like anyone, like you're in the last year, because that yeah. time it was a side year program. Yes. Oh, that's how. Like what? we're not sure. This, this, yeah. it's okay. Imagine yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And also sometimes maybe you you still want to pursue. It's okay to take a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I want to come yeah. come back. Mm -hmm. and then another thing is. If you fail one exam, it's not the end. Yeah. yeah. Even a supplementary, mm -hmm. imagine it's not the end. It just means you've been given another, another chance. chance. It doesn't yeah. mean you're done, by the way. Because yeah. to be honest, like I see sometimes you pass exams because you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Especially the thing called exams, you yes. are just lucky to have yeah. one of the better exams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that you're dumb or you're not hardworking or anything like that. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, to comment, and subscribe. And if you have more tips to share with others, you can leave them in the comment section down below. If you also have any other questions, you can do the same and we'll answer. Until next time. Bye. bye. bye.